Today I am excited to demonstrate for you the new player profile and sublist features that were recently added to the BracketPal League Management System. These new features are already available to all current and future BracketPal customers, and we've already actually seen some users discover the features without the announcement and add themselves to their league's respective sublist. This functionality has actually been a long time in plan, and we've gotten plenty of emails from people saying, when are the profiles going to be available? Why does it just say coming soon? Uh, but I'm, I'm very excited to finally see this fantastic new feature go live and make BracketPal sites even easier and faster to navigate than ever before. So we're going to go ahead and log in here. And the very first thing that a player will notice when they log into their BracketPal site is a new little side menu right over here that features their player name, their profile picture if they've provided one, and most importantly, their current list of season this uh, of current season teams. This is a huge usability improvement over the previous method of getting your schedule. Previously, you had to find your team in the list. So you look on, oh, we find our Monday Power League, blah, 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 scroll on down, and you have to find your team from the list. So then you click on your team, and then it'll show you your team's schedule. But with this new side menu, all you have to do is just log right in. You go and view over on the side menu, you see, oh, there's my team. Let's see the schedule. Click on the team, there's the schedule. Perfect. No hunting around, no looking for your team, nothing. It's just right there, right available immediately. If you do click on your player name or your profile picture or this little view profile link, this will take you to your player profile page, which is one of the new sections of this. Here, you'll see areas to update your name and location. You can click Edit Details. You can update your, 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 your name, your phone number, your city, your state. You can upload a new profile picture if you'd like. And you can view your complete league history. So you can just click on view, view past and present teams, and you can see all the teams that you've ever been on. You can click on the team to view uh, any further information about it, or you can click on uh, any of your teammates to go right to that, your teammates' player profile. So we'll head on back. Soon, this past and present teams is also going to show your tournament history. Right now it only sticks with leagues, but Brackabell does handle tournaments, and in very short time, this will also be showing your tournament history. Note, note that due to the fact that this league doesn't actually track statistics, we can't see them here, but I'll swing on over to another league that does use Brackabell for its stats. So we'll head on over to the South Shore Cinema Basketball League here. Oops. And we'll go have a look at Sean Kurtz's profile. He's a buddy of mine. And here we can see it has his complete lifetime stats. And if we want to go back and look at previous teams that he's been on, you can click on that. You can click on the specific team, and it will show you the statistic history for that team for that player on that team. Um, but anyways, enough with the statistics. Head on over, heading back over to our profile. We'll notice well, one last thing that I did not yet address is this section that's labeled sub preferences. The, the sub and free agent preferences with the little edit sub preferences button. So that's what we're going to move on to next. We're going to head on over to the sub list. So up at the top, there's this little sub list link. And you'll notice that it shows a, the current list of all the players that have listed themselves as potential subs. If you need to find someone based on availability, specific day, skill level, or gender, all those are available. For example, if we wanted to find a female who is available to play on Tuesdays and has the is willing to play for a sixes B B slash C league. We go through that filter, and it'll end up showing up the showing us the player. And if we wanted to look further, we see, okay, these are our potential options. We can go ahead and click on a player name. It'll take you to their profile. You can look and see how they've done in other seasons, if they have anything listed at all. You can also see the additional notes that anyone may have specified um, 
that that player may have specified about themselves with respect to being a cell. So I'll head on back over to the sublist. Now let's say we want to list ourselves on this sublist. We want to add ourselves. You'll notice this big yellow Add Yourself to the List button. Go ahead and click that, and that'll take us back to our profile page, but it'll have the sublist options available to us to edit. So we can specify, are we willing to sub? Yes, willing to sub. Put in our phone number, put in our email, specify our gender, make sure that's selected correctly because a lot of those leagues, you know, if you're looking for a particular skill level, you, or uh, um, if you're looking for a particular player, you're going to need, uh, you might need that gender option. We also specify which day of the week we're willing to play. And we can specify if we want to play 2's A, 2's B's, 2's C. Finally, we can add some notes. I'm usually a doubles player, but I can play sixes if you need. We save it. Head on over to the sub list. And sure enough, here we are, already listed. So I hope you found this brief demonstration informative. If you're impressed by this, and you would like to see this level of functionality for your own league, we are definitely accepting new customers at this time. So head on over to BracketPal.com. And we'll get you all set up. Thanks, and have a good one.